Hey everyone, how are you today? I am doing good. And of course, if you heard the good old audio, good old Drexton. Yeah. So, yep. See you later, Drexton. So, anyway, last time we played Gold Ocarina of Time, we just continued around the Shadow Temple. So, on today's video, we're gonna finish it up. So, if you guys remember last video, I said that we had a room that we had to go to. Well, yeah, it's actually over here. We were at this area last video, but we went this way instead of going that way. So, we're going to head this way. So, yeah. And, of course, oh, invisible. Yeah, invisible stuff. So, all right, let's go on in here, and in here is an abyssal Grim Reaper. Oh boy! All right, we're gonna do some arrow action. All right, let's get rid of these keys. So, um, some other news for you guys if you guys remember uh, last video I said that I turned in an application I had my interview yesterday for the job that I hopefully I'm trying to get um, it was only like a minute and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be getting it though the people that asked me questions they didn't really talk too much with me so I don't know there's a little chance I might get it, but I have this chance, big chance that I, I'm not going to get it because I don't think they really cared or whatever. All right, so what you got to do here is you got to play the Song of Time. So um, these are just recovery hearts. Um, they're optional. You don't have to get them. Um, I'm just going to get them for the heck of it. So but yeah. All right, let's get these, okay, even though we don't really need them. All right, and our last bat is right here. Dead. We're doing that. We opened up this. And I got hit by the Grim Reaper, huh. Hey, Gold Sculptula. don't think that's all of them for the temple. Yeah, I think there might be one more. Yeah. Anyway, so I got a chest right here. <laughs> Five rupees. And then there's one in here that's invisible. But, if you're lucky enough, yep. Wasn't gonna waste the lens of truth, but has some arrows. So, other than that, yeah, that was this little room that I forgot to deal with um, last video, kind of surprised I didn't. It's actually quite a short room, so. Um, anyway guys, I'm going to cut to where the boat is, because that's what I said last video as well, so. Alright, let's get to safety, and I'll make sure to cut, and oh my gosh. Heat style flows. Alright, actually, one more thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this real quick before I cut. Come on. Alright, cool. Okay, guys, I'll see you at the boat. Alright, guys, I'm back. So, now we gotta push this good old block so we can get onto that boat. So, alright, keep pushing.
All right. Okay, guys. Before we um go on the boat, I want to show you guys something pretty cool. So you're probably wondering, what the heck? What are these for? Like, whoa. Well, if we go up here, you might recognize a room from two videos ago. So. If you guys remember this room with the good old Grim Reaper, yeah. So this is like a shortcut for some to the boat, and what? This wall, it's saying something. It says, if you want to see a, a fairy to the other world, come here. Meaning, it's just you're gonna fall down. So, or it's just telling you, hey, this is just another way to get to the, the boat. So, anyway, let's get on this boat. So, and I think before I start it though, um, I'll probably put on my Kokiri boots. Also, we need to go on over here real quick, so let's play our Scarecrow song. Is that our last one? No. Alright, so we have one more still. Okay. What? <laughs> Dang it. I was hoping that would have worked. Like, it looked like it worked, but then he fell, I guess. Alright, before I start this, I'm gonna put on my Kokiri boots because man those hover boots are getting annoying all right and of course a triforce well what do you think when you think of a triforce well sell this lullaby Probably my favorite part of the whole temple is probably going on this little boat. Other than that, not a too big fan of this temple. It's not one of my favorites. I had someone the other day that comment, what would I rate the Shadow Temple in? I kind of replied to him. I told him it was number four on my list. I prefer it a lot better compared to the Water Temple, but... I don't know. It's kind of a dull temple. Other than the boat ride. The boat ride is I think the only part I like. Other than that, I'm just not a big fan of the whole temple. It's just kind of boring and dull. But then again, that's kind of what the point is. That's what its atmosphere is. It's dull and crap. And Abby said, apparently we had to abandon ship because the ship was sinking. Well, that sucks. That was my favorite part, and now it's done. Arrows. Nothing. Hmm, how are we gonna get over there? And there's some bombs. We'll deal with that a little bit later. Alright, so in here is kind of like a maze. Thing of some type. So we need to use our lens of truth. So. Alright. And these floor masters are quite out. Are definitely annoying. Really don't like floor masters. 
They are annoying. But they at least help me get more magic, so I guess they're good for something. What the? Blood? What the? It's another one of these, but it's invisible. Perfect. Kill them all. Hey, we got a little chest. And more stuff that we really don't need. What's this? It's monkey. Alright, so now let's go on. Over here, I'm gonna avoid you. You're annoying. Okay, over here. Oh no. It's one of these with a skull and you throw a bomb into it. Oh man. Sometimes it's pretty cool. Sometimes it can be a little bit annoying, but yeah. I'm gonna throw a bomb into it. Huh, yay, we got it. Oh, nope. I guess we didn't. Jeez. I really hate this part. Oh, we got one. What? It just gave us magic? That's kind of slanted. Um, okay. What do the other ones hold? Did I get it? Nope, I missed. Yeah, I probably could be using my bombs, but... They give you bombs anyway. Ah, that was way too early. Come on, Link. Are you kidding me? Finally. And what did that drop? An arrow. That's all slanted as well. So weird. So I think this is just a room to get supplies, I think. Oh my gosh. Yep. I hate this part. At least I finally got them all. And for doing all that, we got money. We got them all too. Hey, there's a gold sculptula. And I believe that's our last one. Finally. Yes, we got them all. Hallelujah. Alright guys, let's get out of this room. Because it's, it's, it's stupid. <sighs> Alright. Um, okay. Need the lens of truth again. Okay. I think we have this area to go to. Yes. And we have spikes of death that are coming towards us, just so you know. So we need Din's fire. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Well, if you do this. It burns those. I've always wondered if you could use fire arrows on them, but I don't know. I've never tried. I've always had to use Din's fire. Well, it looks like there's some re-deads, so. And he has a chest. Yay! More magic. Another re-dead. More magic. And, ooh, what is this? Oh, 
will it be? What will we see? We got the boss key. Now we can go to the boss. And... Besides the boss room, we've completed the shadow temple. So... Now we just gotta go to the boss. Alright. Let's put back on our lens of truth. So we can get out of here. Nope. Alright. It's time to get out of here. Okay. So now you're like, oh no, how do we get over there? Well, I'll show ya. You just gotta use an arrow. Go like that. I will tell you guys something so funny. When I was young, when I got to this part, I didn't know you had to do that. I thought I was stuck. Until I saw like a video or something and I'm like, oh hey, you're supposed to use an arrow to blow a bomb. Because I guess I didn't know for the longest time that um, arrows could blow up bombs. So, yeah, it was kind of funny, but pretty cool as well. Magic. Arrows. And we gotta play the Song of Time again. Again, this is just optional. You don't have to. Um, I don't know. I just like to get it because pretty cool and I was a little I think I was too close so. oh hey you get to hear the song of time it's been a while since we heard it so and over here we got a player scarecrow song once more There's our buddy again. Cool. All right. Come on, shoot. Cool. Are you kidding me? We fell, but yeah. Well, that was such an epic fail. Wow. Eh. Oh well, at least he didn't pull me back where the boat was. That would have been bad. So, anyway, it's going in here. Oh no, how do we get over here? It's all pitch black. Well, lens of truth. Yeah. I think I might need my hover boots real quick. All right. All right, cool. Here's the boss room. And we're not gonna pray this time, so let's go. All right, guys, um, before I start the boss, I got um, just a little bit of trivia for ya. Um, so in earlier versions of Ocarina of Time, 1.0 and 1.1, um, you could place a bomb down here and you wouldn't have the cutscene happen the boss fight would be would begin because apparently the explosion or something would hit him so yeah and another thing this boss has the most health out of all of the other bosses which I thought was really interesting I didn't know that for the longest time um, though I also kind of think it's kind of odd because I've always thought maybe Ganon and Ganondorf had the most health, but I, I guess not, but I don't know that one I guess could be Yeah, or no, I guess it just depends, but anyway, let's see what's down here Is it like a drum? We're on a drum And there's some hands And 
They apparently like to play the drum. Wait. What the? Who the heck are you? Phantom Shadow Beast. Bongo Bongo. Our next. This is our boss. Alright, so what you gotta do is you just gotta shoot his hands with his. Or. Sh shoot his hands with your arrows. And then. When it comes to like this, gotta make sure to shoot his eye. And slice, slice. Pretty easy and simple. Shoot his hands with your arrows. Gotta be careful though, because his hands do move quite a lot and they'll hit you. But the cool thing about his hands, they'll drop items for you. Alright, and we gotta aim for his eye and slice him. And that was the end of the boss fight. Yeah, that was pretty quick. So, yeah, just shoot his hands, shoot that big old eye, and yeah, he's all black. Oh, hey, he disintegrated. And for doing that, we got another heart container. Woo, guys, we are at 18 hearts. Woo. Alrighty. Just going in here. We are back in the Chamber of Sages. Wow, it's been quite some time since we've been here. Yes, that's a good view. Hey, it's good old Impa. The boy with the noble Zelda's ocarina, as I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker. And I, and I also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. What's up, Impa? It's been quite some time. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule from generations to generations as attendants. However, on that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked and Hyrule, Cas Hy and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Wow. No wonder why. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the sacred realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. Oh, so that's why they surrendered, is because he thought, hey, who's going to get that? My duty bound me to take care, to take Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When I last saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Yes, I was. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Soon you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face and she will explain everything. That is when we, the six wise ones, will seal the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my powers which should be helpful to you into this medallion. And we got a purple frisbee. Now we received we receive the Shadow Medallion. Impa awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. Please look out for the princess. Yes, hallelujah. Oh boy, we did it guys. We did it. Wow, we did it. Yeah. Wow. 
Temple. That means we have one temple left. And then we have Ganondorf. We're getting close to the end of the game, guys. Wow. So, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a good old like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And anyways, guys, have a wonderful day or night. Bye.